I get so annoyed whenever I look into the comment sections of YouTube videos, not pertaining to mine exactly, but whenever I'm watching something like maybe a Monster Cat Sun that just released or something, seeing people's just negative comments, like super negative comments that get like highly upvoted and a lot of other people agree with it, it really annoys the shit out of me. That's why normally I don't look at comments except for the ones in my videos. For example, you know, I'll be listening to a Monster Cat song and the next thing you know somebody like comments this is plain and unoriginal and then it'll have like 30 upvotes and everyone's like so true so true and then you get the wave of people that just say kill yourself to the person <laughs> because honestly i i just think it's ridiculous how like all of the negative comments like to get higher up in the comment section instead of like you know the more positive comments like oh my god this is an amazing song blah 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 but yeah every time i go into the comments i just find there's so much negativity and it's like why don't you just be you know, happy and be calm. Like, for example, if you guys know who Kostef is, he has a million subs on YouTube, he has 200,000 on his alt account, which he makes vlogs on his secondary. Um, pretty much, he did a vlog the other day, and he was just messing with one of the roommates, but everyone knows that they always mess around with each other all the time, so it's nothing new, but it was just pretty much the entire video of them just fucking around. And someone actually, or there was like so many comments stating, oh man, this is... They obviously didn't have an idea, this is so stupid, this is, uh, uh, Kostef's an asshole, just like, all this negative stuff, and it's like, oh my goodness, he didn't do anything, he's just messing with them like he always does, but it was the entire video that time. I don't know, I just really, I almost never look at the comments of other videos, like, I'll every once in a while look at down at the comments in a video, and then, like, I regret it immediately. <laughs> Ugh. But on a side note, uh, I haven't talked about this yet, I did get hired for... I did get hired for Safeway. I'm, work I'm going to be working at Safeway soon, or at least I hope. Pretty much a few days ago, I went in. Actually, no, before my PAX trip, I went in and did a drug test. I obviously passed, you know, even though I do the most hardcore drugs. But, yeah, so I went in, did the drug test, and I passed. And then after, or I had to wait five to seven days for my, for my background check to come in. And so once that uh, came in... I went ahead, they let me come back in, I went and did a little safety class where I, um, the lady talked to me all about safety and stuff like that, and then she was going to give me a call on Saturday, which was two days ago. She was going to call me on Saturday after she got off work, letting me know when to come in for training courses, and that never happened. So now I'm sitting here like the anxious little fuck I am, and I'm sitting here worried that maybe they decided they didn't want me. Uh, I highly doubt that considering they made me go through the whole process and everything, and I already bought clothes for work. Uh, I had to buy all, I had to buy all black, like a black shirt and a black pants, I bought two of each. And, um, yeah, I'm, what I'm worrying about is I took, I don't think I failed it, but before I left that day, I took like a 10 a 10 question multiple choice and I'm pretty sure I passed I think I got 10 out of 10 or at least I hope I did but now I'm sitting here worrying after I thought about it I, I'm just sitting here worrying that maybe you know I actually failed it like miserably and they decided they didn't want to hire me but I, I, I'm almost positive I did really good on the test but to be fair I mean every like history test I took I hated history guys History and science absolutely hated, but um, there was there's multiple occasions where I thought I did really good on a test and I get the test back and I ended up getting like a D on it. So I mean I can't really hope that I passed it when I always fuck up on everything else. But yeah, so I'm worrying that that's gonna happen. But I'm actually going to be getting a haircut tomorrow morning, so I think I'm gonna draw or I'm gonna head over to Safeway after my hair appointment and like and be like, Yo, what's up? What's going on? Why have I not been called yet? It might just be an inconvenience, maybe they're busy with interviews and stuff like that, but I'm over here worrying like I always do about the dumb shit.